Hi, and welcome to this presentation from Use Again on the environmental impact of the cotton t-shirt. To determine the environmental impact, we divide the life cycle in five phases. The material phase is where the fiber is harvested or manufactured. The production phase is where the textile is made. The transport phase is involved every step of the way. The use phase is when the consumer wears it. And the disposal phase is at the end of the road. Pollution occurs in every phase. In the material phase, pollution comes from cotton cultivation, from sowing, fertilizing, irrigating, harvesting, ginning. In the production phase, pollution comes from chemicals and dyes, from spinning, knitting, bleaching, dyeing, cutting, and sewing. During the transport phase, pollution comes from carbon emissions from the vehicles that move the clothing from factories to distribution chains, and finally retail stores. During the use phase, pollution and wasted energy come from washing and drying the clothes. And finally, there's the disposal phase, where pollution comes from wasted energy, from incineration and water treatment to the unnecessary overflows of landfills. According to a 2009 study, producing the average t-shirt requires about 700 gallons of water along with various amounts of fertilizers, pesticides, fossil fuels, carbon dioxide, and other gases, all involved in the growing and manufacturing process. Additionally, the carbon dioxide admitted into our atmosphere from simply washing and drying a t-shirt is actually quite high, at nearly 18.3 pounds after 50 washing and drying cycles.